Hi, welcome to Siemens NX video tutorial. I want to do that crankcase, which is part of my seven cylinder radial engine assembly. It's a remake of an old one. And let's take a look at the drawing. So you could make a screenshot of this drawing and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So let's have fun with Siemens NX. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. That's the top plane in this case, confirm. And I need a circle. And the diameter of the circle should be 383. Finish that sketch, make an extrude, make it 20. Now let's reuse that sketch, make another extrude, now make it 186. And it should be united. And I need an offset. Let's go for a two-sided offset. And one should be zero and the other one should be minus 383 minus 266 divided by 2, which gives me that wall right. Let's hide that sketch. I need a plane. So let's go for a plane with a distance, maybe to the Y Z plane. And the distance should be 171. That's OK and confirm. Next, I need a sketch on that plane here. So go for a sketch on this plane here and confirm. And I need a circle and a square, two circles and a square. So let's go for a square. Should be 154 by 154. So I've missed the first one like this and put it right there. Then I need a three point circle for construction purposes. Okay, this should be for construction only. Yes, and another circle with diameter of 170. So let's try to put it concentric. And that diameter should be 170. Seems the first one is not taken. That's kind of strange. 170 like this. And it should be for construction purpose only. Then I need a line. Again for construction purpose. Should start here at the center. Go to this point here. Make it for construction only. Now let's put a point right there at the center and one at the intersection. So let's go for an intersection point. Should be here. This one and that one. And then I want to go for one like this. OK and close. Finish that sketch. No, sorry. I should position it, of course. So the distance between that axis and this point here should be 103. And of course, this point here should be on that sketch axis coincident like this. Now finish that sketch. 
let's make an extrude with that sketch in that direction that's okay but I want to subtract and let's go for 100 millimeter doesn't really matter and okay great now I can use that point to make a hole so where I can use this point here so go for where is it a hole and it should be a simple one yeah custom one hole diameter should be 136 136 and it should be normal to face yes the whole depth should be should go out till next yes should be subtracted that's okay and the point should be this one here see yeah this one nice and okay great now I need another hole a small one so go for hole in this case it should have a value 20 millimeters that's okay and the whole diameter might be 10 and the point would be this point here let's try to snap on it okay and confirm great now I want to pattern first maybe that extrude and then the hole and then this hole and all around so let's go for a circular feature pattern I want to pattern every feature alone so go for pattern feature I want to pattern that extrude here I want to go for a circular pattern the vector would be of course the set axis and I need seven instances it's count and span that's okay 360 is okay so let's confirm this then another pattern feature the feature would be that first hole but now I want to go for a reference and the reference pattern would be that pattern which I did before this one and select base handle you need to select this one here and okay great now this hole has to be patterned around that sort of axis so let's try to do this let's go for another pattern feature the feature would be that small hole and it should be a circular pattern and the vector would be sort of in this direction or I could use that plainest direction and I need a point and that would be the point I need count and span yes and I need four instances the span angle is 360 degrees and confirm and now let's pattern the hole and that pattern this one so the feature would be this hole and that one and I want to pattern it around with a reference so let's see if this works so if I go for that pattern feature it gives me some warning let's try maybe it will work so let's go for that reference select the reference pattern that would be the first one here and select the base instant handle that would be this one of course and see it works so that warning was not really important and confirm and I'm done no not I'm not done 
I have missed one revolve. So let's do that revolve. Okay, I might do a sketch on the YZ plane. That would be the right plane and confirm. I need a circle. Diameter would be 80. That's crazy. Somehow the first number is not recognized. Strange. And I want to put a point right there because it's easier to do with a point. Now I need a distance from this point to that axis and this should be 103. 103. Okay. And another distance from this axis to that point. And this should be 1, 4, 0. Okay, great. Let's finish that sketch. Make a revolve with that sketch. Yes, the vector should be, of course, the set axis. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. And confirm. Hide that sketch. Now, I want to reorder that revolve because I forgot it before this hole or that hole. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, I move that sketch before this hole. I want to move that revolve before this hole as well, which gives me some sort of error report. Let's make this hole the current feature. which would be possible by clicking here in this column as well. So what's the problem? The problem is with that hole, I made it until next. Yeah, if I go for a one a value, that would work until selected until next. This seems to be a problem. Because, you see, it goes through all. Because right here, that's not a face. Because there's a hole. So, in this case, I want to go for value or for until selected. If I go for until selected, then I can select this surface here. And that should work. No, it doesn't work. Still the same problem. So, let's go for a value. This one should have a value and I could go until the mid plane that would work. So let's go until selected and choose that plane. This should work and confirm. And now I could make this the current feature and it's done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.